Hey, so in this video, we're going to learn how to draw a free body diagram or an FBD uh, of an object on a ramp that's experiencing friction. And we're going to see how to do it inside Google Docs. So we have an object that's sitting on a ramp that's experiencing some static friction. So a free body diagram handwritten is going to look something like this. We can see our ramp. There's an angle theta. The Cartesian coordinate system is set up so that X is parallel to the surface of the ramp making y perpendicular. So now we can start putting in all of our forces. We have fg, which is gravity, going straight down. We have the normal, which is perpendicular to the surface, going up along the y-axis. That's labeled fn. We have static friction, which goes up the ramp because it opposes motion, and that's ffs. And the gravity, which is fg, is broken into components in the y direction, which would be fgy, and then fgx. So this is a hand-drawn free body diagram. We want to digitalize it in Google Docs and make it look something like this. So it's a little bit neater, it's a little bit cleaner. If you have to make multiple free body diagrams for a lab, you can simply have one and then do some copy and pasting to put in the specific data for the question that you're dealing with. Okay, so we go into Google Docs. I'm going to go into Insert, Drawing, and New Drawing. So it opens up the drawing window and I'm going to select a line and I'm going to start off by making my ramp. You can see they have those watermark uh, cubes underneath to help you out with like horizontals and verticals. So here's my ramp. I would like to place a box on it. So I'll just pick a square. It defaults to be filled so I'm just going to get rid of the fill. And then I'm going to try to see if we can orient it so that it lines up with the surface of the ramp. So that's pretty close. I mean, you can fiddle around with it to try to get it right on, but sometimes it's a little bit off. I want to put on my x, y axis. So x is parallel to the surface of the ramp. Just going to move that down with a cursor control. Uh, with these tabs here, I'm actually able to put arrows on the ends. So I can put an arrow on either end and I can also turn it into a dotted line. So there's my x-axis and draw the y-axis. So when you go to draw the y-axis, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. People have difficulty making it perpendicular to the surface of the ramp. So just take your time. Let's add an arrow to either end and there we go. I'm just going to shorten this one up a little bit. Okay, so I want to label my axes. So here is the text box. So right around here, I'll call that one Y. And at the end here, I will make one for X. Okay, so now we've got the uh, box on the ramp. We've got our Cartesian coordinate system set up. Now we can start adding in the forces that are acting on it. So now I can just grab an arrow line and start from the origin of the XY Cartesian and I'm going to drop that one down. You can increase the width of the line just to make it stand out a little bit. So I'm going to make that a three point. You can even change the color. So since you're doing this as a digital document, sometimes it's nice to have a different color for your vectors. It makes it stand out a little bit. So there is my gravity. I'm going to put the text box for the gravity. So gravity is F G now I can highlight the G and on a Mac it's command comma gives you a subscript. Let's put it on our normal. Normal goes along the Y axis. Don't make it too long. Make this a three point font. Make that blue. F N. And it's a capital N for the normal. We have a frictional force acting, and it goes up the ramp. And I will label that one. Capital F, FS for static friction force. Move it down a little bit closer. Now, the only thing I have to do is add the components for gravity in the X and Y direction. Pick a color, 
It's a little bit too bright. And let's draw the last vector. And then we can label it. So this one right here is F, G, Y in the Y direction. Just expand that text box and it'll fit. And this last one down here is F, G, X. So here's our free body diagram. I'm also going to put in the angle theta. On a Mac, I can go to the top of the screen. I can actually click on show emojis and symbols. I go in this little search box. I type theta. I'll get all the different styles of theta. I'm going to click this one. Close. And here is my theta. So here's my free body diagram. I can click save and close. And it is now in my Google Doc. And you can go in at any time by double clicking on it. You can go in and edit. So if you want to put specific values for FG, FN, FFS, you can go in and edit those by adding a new text box.